Well, we have to do my intro. Are you nervous? I'm no. nervous. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I feel like this topic is nerve wracking. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new or not, please make sure you subscribe down below. And today I have my fiance Tyrant. Hey guys, how are you doing? <laughs> like nervous taking this video. I don't know. I just feel like it's a like it's a it's a really open conversation. I feel like it's also kind of important for those that just maybe just got engaged. Are right, thinking stuff. about getting yeah. engaged? Got engaged February 14th, 2021. So um, we've been engaged for, I think, hold on, let me count this. So we've been engaged for eight months and let me first start by apologizing if you hear our puppy in the background crying because we have him in his cage and because he will be all in this video probably trying to eat the camera. So we put him away and he's really upset with us. So if you hear a puppy crying, he's okay. He's just a little upset. Um, so yeah, we've been engaged for eight months and we are getting married next year, 2022 of June. So we'll be married in another eight months, basically. Um, so that means we would have been engaged for a year and like a few months mm -hmm. um, once we are officially married. Um, so yeah, so this is going to be just a quick Q&A of like questions and things we both came up with that we wanted to discuss, hoping that this conversation is a helpful for anyone that's currently engaged, thinking of being engaged, especially at a young age. Like I don't really like to consider it a young age, right? But like in society, people will label this as a younger age. Um, so basically being engaged in your early 20s because you know a lot of people are like oh your 20s are for you to live and Mingle and do all this stuff and like that's not what we're doing So this is for people who are like, you know interested in like our life as being engaged So, you know our ages. I am 23. I'm 25 and I was 23 when we got engaged and Tyron was no I was 22 when we got engaged and I was what 24 24 yeah. so yeah backstory we started dating 2019 we were talking 2019 a little bit before the holidays and we officially started dating that was on thanksgiving before thanksgiving we were thanksgiving. talking yeah. but like yeah yeah we didn't yeah. and then he had asked me to be his girlfriend like during the holidays of 2019 and then we hit a pandemic that we've been in for like what a year and a half going on two years now i'm going crazy the first question is what feels different from the boyfriend and girlfriend status to now being fiancés me first? Go ahead. All right. We'll switch back and forth. Like, right, I'll go cool. first next time. All right, cool. So, I would say uh, what feels different is it being more real or, you know, I mean, I would say boyfriend, girlfriend is still real and you getting to know each other, but being engaged is a whole different step. Um, and, yeah, it's like, I don't know. Now, I just feel like like I'm not going nowhere. Like really. it's natural, yeah. yeah. It's like once you're once you become engaged, then it's a Your whole different mindset. mindset switches. Yeah, it's a whole different mindset. Yeah. So how about you? Um. So for me, I feel like what feels different. It feels more real. Like he's trying to say, it's really hard to explain until you're in the situation. Like of course, when we were in that boyfriend and girlfriend, like before he put the ring on my finger, I knew like we were eventually going to be engaged. Like I knew this was my person. And so, like, I knew eventually it would happen, but when it does happen, it does switch things. Like, it feels, in a sense, more genuine, like a genuine connection that you know you're in this for the long run once you are engaged. Like, of course, once you're engaged, if you're not, if it's not meant to be, it won't be. But um, you could always still leave once you're engaged or married, but it does feel like a more genuine, real, connected connection. Like, it feels stable way more stable than you are when you're boyfriend and girlfriend it feels much more stable now and i can only imagine once we are married how much more stable it will feel for me just having those titles and that's how we feel about the titles not everyone feels that way completely understandable but that's how we feel how is it sharing things and by that we mean like we are living together we did start living together once we were engaged and so we've been living together for eight months now and so that's what this question means how does it feel like sharing a space sharing a room sharing all this stuff with each other and so i think it is a di it's very difficult it is difficult at first and it's still difficult to this day um it didn't feel weird sharing a bed it didn't feel weird like sharing anything like that or like having someone to sleep with at night i will say <laughs> we are two tall people and this may be really funny or not funnies I'm just gonna recommend off the bat 
if you are a couple, whether you small, petite or not, just get a king mattress because this will be a problem for you, okay? I would wake up because Tyron is on top of me. And so I'd be like, like, you know, and so that <laughs> would say is my biggest pet peeve is sometimes sharing a bed is like really difficult because you're so used to having your own before and then you guys move in together if you choose to or once you're married or whatever you may do. Or if you're living together now like us, just get the king mattress, yo. If you didn't get the king mattress yet, do it. If you already got the queen, upgrade when you're ready and financially stable. But just do it. So that's me. I feel like it hasn't been too difficult sharing things because we moved the same way. Um, so yeah, that's my. So I would say sharing things. Um, sharing things and being engaged, it was a little hard for me or a little different. Um, I'm sure it will be different for everyone. You're used to being by yourself and uh, mm -hmm. used to doing your own things or having your own things. But I feel like now it's becoming more easier as, as far as sharing things and not only physical but like opening up and things like that so it's getting there it's not all the way there but it's coming yeah that is the aspect of sharing things like whether that's finances sharing the same space like it is a work in progress mm -hmm. and it is difficult um especially like what makes it better is that we do we're very similar and we move the same way by that like we have the same mindset or we are growing into this mindset that we both want for each other and for ourselves individually so that is very helpful um when it comes to sharing space when it comes to doing the same things like we're just similar in that way and that's been very helpful question is what is it like calling each other fiancés powerful one and i like it because it's like wow like we actually made it we made it here like we're here I always want i said from the first time that i always want to marry her and he did. now that it's here it's like wow it's like it's not my, not my girlfriend it's my fiance so mm -hmm. it's a whole different like i said it's a whole different level you know it's it's great it's a great feeling yeah 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 so and again like for us these mm -hmm. titles are important to us and mm -hmm. so like it's more than just a piece of paper for us and like once we are married like it's more than just a piece of paper um and so it is interesting to call him fiance i remember when we first got engaged i would have to correct myself tyron has been on top of it he will not let you call me his girlfriend he's like oh that's my fiance <laughs> like it's not a joke so it's it's been it's it's really nice to be able to like call someone your fiance and like as a female like you've always like if you had that dream you've always dreamed of like having that title one day gaining the ring on your finger you know like and meeting your person, so like it's nice. What made the two of us want to get married? Who's it me? You? It's me. It's you. Okay, yeah. start. So what made me want to get married to Emily is that I always tell her that she's very powerful in the way she speaks. Um, also, she's like she's super nice sometimes. You know, fine, loving, and she's different from any other female that I've ever met. Um, as far as like she pushes me to do things that I've, that I've never done or always had a hard time doing um, ha Breaking habits so very motivating and very inspirational Inspirational and pushing so that's how I knew that she was my person and that I want to get married to her You know I got the sauce <laughs> What made me want to get married to Tyron was because he is just the sweetest person I have ever met like I really did not know <laughs> that um I would meet someone this sweet and like he is just so caring like it was crazy like even when we're arguing like don't don't get him wrong he's sweet but he, he could be rude anyone could be rude now um I could be rude he was so loving to me like he accepted anything I said he really cared for me he wanted to do the most for me and he wanted to build a life and a future with me and like I've always had that mindset that I'm not dating for fun I'm dating to hopefully one day that we can be something more and that marriage could be in the picture so once he once we met like it was like an immediate connection like it was all good times and it was just so fun to be around him and then we were working out kinks we were working out like how we're gonna make this relationship work and trying to build stability with one another and it's just like despite anything we've been through like he's always pushing to like build us a future and it's just really nice to have that so 
yeah, like one day I know he's gonna be a great father. And like how a man treats his mom or treats his sisters or anything like that, I feel like it's really important. And he adores his mother and adores his sisters and I love that and he's very family oriented. So I just knew, I knew. As soon as we started dating, I knew. <laughs> He really knew though. He like said it from like our, once he told me like, oh, I love you, he said it. But he was nervous. You were nervous to tell me. I was nervous. So the next question is, what's the hardest thing about living together and being engaged? Oh, it's on you, man. This one's a V. So the hardest thing I would think is finances. Like that one is really difficult. With being like engaged and living together at a younger age, the first thing you have to think about is finances because you can't do anything in this world without money. And so living together like adds bills to you, adds bills to that other person and like combining that income, figuring out that income, saving that income in different places is really difficult. And so like, when we got together, like we always talked about finances, but it wasn't in the sense of, um, okay, how are we gonna break everything up? Because we didn't know when we would live together. Um, and Tyron was still like figuring out what he wanted to do. And then he realized that he wanted to be a massage therapist. He went to school, got his massage therapy license and all of this stuff. And so at a young age, finances is naturally hard on an individual. Like it's a hard thing to do, right? So. Um, it was a difficult thing trying to combine it trying to figure it out who's making this who's gonna like pay this how we're gonna combine it and we're still working on that to this day like that is a really hard thing to do I am not gonna lie because finances is the number one reason for divorce and that's why it's the hardest thing in a relationship for you being together living together about to get married like all of those things are already financial barriers like a wedding ain't cheap Getting, renting something, furnishing something is not cheap. Like all of that stuff is really difficult. So I think the hardest thing about being engaged and living together is finances. Especially like if you do plan on having a wedding, you have to think about that financial impact. If you do plan on living together, you need to think about that financial impact. And like, you're two different people. Your mindset for money is going to be different even if they're similar, so. I think you said it all. Oh, okay. You agree with me? Yeah, I agree with you. I don't, I don't really have any other... other I think I, we really other don't have me. anything else that's, like, really difficult. Like, right. we love each other so much. We don't... We And if we do argue or we do buck, buck heads, it's about finances. Like, mm -hmm. it literally our main situation is finances. And, like, again, we're 20... I'm 23. He's 25. I'm about to be 24. Like, we're young. So finances and working that out together could be really easy at times because now there's two of us we have two incomes right great but then it's also like how do you manage all this money and that's always a thing where we're working on we're always and trying it's, to it's also it's also like if you have it if you have a lot of money it's still it's still like it's still difficult. A problem, or it's, not, it's hard to figure out. It's it's still a a process. Like even if you have a good amount of money, it's a yeah, process to it's do. It's the whole combining thing. The combining thing, the responsibilities of like being an adult, like hits you really hard, like post grad, because mm -hmm. we're like post grad life engaged, right? So that is hard, y'all. Like I'm not gonna lie to y'all, finances is a really hard thing, and you could do as much as you want. I've made 14 Excel sheets, I've done all of this stuff, but then you also have to remember that the other person may not be like how you are. Like Tyrant, Excel sheets, not his thing, right? So like that's how I work. So then try to figure out what makes him, like he's a visual learner, right? So like how do we put those finances together? So like, like it's definitely a conversation that you always will have. It's a conversation that's always gonna be coming up. Once you have kids, that's another conversation. Like, woo, yo finances that is the hardest thing mm -hmm. and this was hard when i was living on my own so putting two people in this mix that love each other and don't want to like ever like really fight <laughs> it is difficult so next question is how do we feel about being engaged in our early 20s is a great thing because you get to see everything you get to experience life together before you have any children but once you also have kids it's a little easier to take care of them and um, you get to have more fun because once you're older someone that runs out and you won't be able to move how you want to move You know sometimes so that's a good point. Yeah, so I, I mean that's that's my That's yeah. my answer. Yeah, just being young and uh, Having fun. Yeah, but I I my, like I really Okay, like there's that controversy thing where it's like oh you're in your 20s You should really live your 20s like either single or like date, don't get married too young or whatever people like to think. Like Social I do not mentality. feel 
I do not feel hindered of live like I do not feel like being engaged stops me from living. Like if being engaged stops you from living, you're not with the right person. I am right. so sorry, but you are not with the right person. Because it doesn't matter what age you are engaged at, you should not stop living your life. Like if I want to get engaged at 45 and get married at 45, I should still be living my life at 45. Mm -hmm. Like you don't know when you are gonna be taken off this earth or when your life will come to an end. It's like, what am I waiting for if I found my person? And God forbid something doesn't work out. You still live your life afterwards, you know? Like, it's all about a learning lesson. And I don't feel like me being engaged stops you from living. I still go out. We still have fun. The only difference is now I have someone who constantly wants to do everything with me. And I love that. <laughs> so, and then when I want to do my own thing, he wants to do his own thing. He go about his business. I go about my business. And so, mm -hmm. it's not hindering me. Like, I spend time with my friends. He spends time with his friends. Like, I'm on FaceTime with my cousins and my friends all the time. Like, it doesn't hinder me at all. I do not mind being engaged at this age. I do not mind living with someone at this age. I feel like I have. we still have a lot to experience in life, and I have no problem doing that with him. Also, I also feel like when people would be like, oh, you guys are so young, and that's like, we're young, but we have a different mentality. Yeah, that's another thing. Like, we do Most not... Most people have that. Like, you'll look at some people and they're like 25 and they still don't know what they want in life which is fine like don't rush it if you don't want to don't jump into something if you know that's not what you want right um and so we're not those people like we always knew that we wanted something more from life we always knew like the like at this age especially being like people of color like you gotta fight for what you want here and so um it is just like we have the same mentality so i feel like that's why we we do not have any problems being engaged at 23. <laughs> like, you're going to have problems if you're engaged at 23, 25, and engaged at 45, 50. Like, you're not going to figure out your whole life. You're going to constantly learn. I do think at this age that it's harder to regulate your emotions because you're still trying to figure that out, go through this thing that's called life and adulting. But the only difference is now I'm doing it with another person. And I personally feel like these problems or situations or anything like that could come up when we're 35 if we decided to be married or engaged. And so, like, we're two different people, two different personalities. I think no matter the age, it's going to be difficult. We're going to grow together. We're going to learn from each other. And I got no complaints. I'm happy. So. <laughs> I feel like once, since we started early, we kind of have a jump on things. I, I so do, when too. when we get a little older, it'll be easier. I know. Wondering, like, oh, I haven't lived my life yet. And, like, my partner is like, oh, I really want to be with you. And you know you want to be with that person. You should still be able to live your life being with someone engaged sing like anything like it does it shouldn't hinder you from living your life individually and together and i cannot stress the individual enough like you still need to be your own person <laughs> so this is the last question so what are some things that we have implemented with living together and now being engaged that we weren't doing before when we were just boyfriend and girlfriend i think we can answer this question together because it's not really individual right um we started um we started imp implementing at night, like on a weekly basis. We'll like do a check-in. And I'm, we're not gonna, some nights, some weeks, we don't do this like on a regular basis, but we do it pretty often. Where we sit down at night before we go to bed and talk for like 15 to 30 minutes, like TV play and it's just me and him. And we're just talking about things that have been on our mind that we may have not wanted to say like during the week or during the days. So that's something we do. Um, another thing that we do, is both of us, we, we're like big kids sometimes. Like we like to do yeah. like Nerf Wars with my cousin or play board games and things like that. So one thing we do to, that we implemented recently is play rock, paper, scissors, shoot when we have like yes. a little like, oh, I'm not gonna do that or, no, I'm not gonna do that. So we play rock, paper, scissors, shoot and handle it. And yeah. <laughs> nip it, but it's like, that's it. So that's, that's one fun thing that we do. No, this is really helpful. I wouldn't recommend this enough. Like when you like say like when it comes to like this is we got a puppy to like kind of like make us learn on how to raise a child in a sense. And he is a baby. Like I know a child is completely different than a puppy, but there are a lot of responsibility, um, especially if they're your first pet. Like I, we've never had pets before. So this is a whole new ballpark for us. But um, like there'd be days where I really don't want to walk Harley and I'm like, babe, I don't want to walk Harley. He's like, well, I walked him this morning and I'm like, and then whoever wins walked Harley. She always wins. You Not often. often yeah. You twice. had a streak where he kept winning. So we do that. Yeah. Or when I'm like, oh, I don't want to like wash the dishes or I don't want to like, he's like, oh, I don't want to spread the bed or something, something small that we both do. But like one of us may not really want to do it right now. And like. 
or something like, oh, I'm gonna go get something or we need to go to the store really fast and one of us is like, I don't wanna get up from the couch. Who's going, right? Mm -hmm. And it's just the way we do so we don't like argue like over petty things. It's like, it's funny because when we start pulling out the rock, paper, scissors, shoe, we start laughing. Mm -hmm. And then you're not mad about it if you lost because it was just so funny that we even had to do it. So that is a good tip. And then yeah. we also are going to start this and where we do um, weekly budget meetings because like we had mentioned, previously is that the hardest thing in this young adult phase and being living together stuff is like working out finances and doing all that stuff learning how to budget like that is a process that is discipline and so we want to constantly be like learning and like making sure we're doing the things that we need to do so we are going to implement weekly budget meetings like how we do the weekly check-ins we do weekly budget meetings and there's gonna be so many more things that we try to implement we're trying not to overbear like overburden ourselves either like do too much that we can't really keep up with so yeah those are the two things that we really have implemented with now being engaged and living together and we're constantly working on like how to perfect this like check-in budget meetings so that it just runs smoothly every time we're ready to sit down and talk so yeah i think those were the last questions if you have any more questions like leave them down below in the comment and we'll answer them together boom so thank you so much for joining us and please don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next video and hit the like button hit the like button <laughs> bye <laughs>